What's going on everybody? Welcome back to episode 2 of my Chesterfield manager mode and this is the first league match and it came up pretty quickly. I didn't expect uh, a match this soon but I guess since there wasn't a whole lot of trading activity um, that's why but uh, I'm just going to be showing highlights and stuff and I am on professional I know you guys might hate it but I'm just not patient enough to play a war class I guess um, because I don't I, I don't I don't know I'm just not good against the computer but I mean online I'm fine but it's just I don't I don't know what it is but I'll play on professional for uh, you know a season or two uh, we'll see if you guys like really can't stand it but there we go 70th minute what a goal by Humphreys and that's really all that happened this game and the 35 year old that we did not want to play um, is actually making a goal for us and that's actually fantastic because that's how this game ends as well um, there is uh, one or two more highlights but um, you know as as what this as far as uh, how this team is uh, I don't know there's just a thing there that I just can't stand about them it's like I guess it's just uh, you know all the teams this week in FIFA but you know the passes are bad they don't make good runs the touches are bad it's just it's a mess pretty much and then we actually do have a cup game coming up as well so with with not a whole lot of trading going on I'll do three games and then show you the highlights of those every episode so uh, we'll get through we'll get through the season pretty fast so but I mean, I I enjoy playing a professional a lot more than world class. So I mean, would you rather have me play on world class and lose a lot and not really have a, you know, a really good time playing it, or professional and you probably win a lot because in those past two games, I don't, they I don't even think they had a shot. I mean, that's not my problem with world class either. Defending's not really the problem. It's just I can't really get any attacking moves going, but. Um, the the cup game was very close to the first league game, so I had to put a lot of substitutes on, which caused some trouble because I don't really have true backups for this team yet because I don't I don't really know who's better than who, what's happened, you know how things are gonna work. But um, nonetheless, I did put a custom formation on. So um, with the players I have, I put all the work rates to what I like, and then I adjust their adjusted their positions a little bit and we are playing a 442 custom and that's because I customize it but left backs because the guy came uh, what did yeah Smith he came back he is healthy again but his fitness is low and Humphreys is tired as well so um, I figured I'll just put him in there and put Humphreys on the bench and if uh, if Humphreys on the bench then I can always sub him on after halftime or something if, if Smith's really tired. But, <clears throat> you know, hopefully, I don't even know what cup this is. Probably the Capital One Cup, maybe. I'm, maybe not. But, um, you know, that that's good. I, I like having cup games outside of league games because it, it gives you something to focus, focus on. It's actually, yeah, it is the Capital One Cup. So, we're playing against... Uh, I didn't see who we were playing, but they weren't a very strong team. But starting it off in the sixth minute right here, what a shot by O'Shea. And I was, I guess I was pretty surprised by this team in the second game. In the first game, uh, shots looked horrible, and I guess the thing I really need to do is look in depth at each player I have. Learn what their preferred foot is and what their skill moves are. So that way, uh, if I go for a shot, I actually use their preferred foot rather than their weak foot because most players on this team have either a two or three star weak foot. There's not a whole lot of four star weak foot. But uh, with the work rates, the way I did it, I put it um, both my strikers high medium, um, my CAM high medium. Uh, right there should have been a goal, but um, he was offside anyhow. So. Um, and my C, my center attacking mid, high medium, and then my left mids are uh, high medium as well, and then my outside backs are high high. 
Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted them as. You know, I know usually it's like high medium, um, but I like my outside back to play a little bit further up and protect the uh, protect the out the wings right there. But we do get a little bit of a lucky deflection right there, and that wraps up this game and just about this episode. Um, that does wrap up the game though. So we win the round of 16. Uh, I think so. I think it's just like a single elimination thing. So uh, that's two victories in one episode. Very good. That's what we look for. Won the first two games of the series. Uh, our team's looking decent right now. Um, you know, I'm not really thrilled with them, but I'm not really upset with them. Uh, you know, that was to be expected though, because they're a little, little bit of a slower, uh, you know, a bit of a lower overall team. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, episode three will be out very shortly. York City won 4-3 on Pen